Howdy friends, Pastor Sam. We're here at the uh, Free Alex Jones rally. This is my friend Bill. I saw he was wearing an interesting shirt. It says Pinochet did nothing wrong. If you don't know, this is the famous president of Chile. He was a general in Chile and he overthrew the socialist government and restored some freedom to Chile. So Bill, tell us the tale. Well, the tale of the shirt came from a thought of a good friend of mine before the, uh, what we called uh, Portland 3.0, which was August 4th. So we all went out there, there was probably about two dozen of us, and we wore these shirts out there. Uh, the shirt is, is meant to be the ultimate troll and to upset the left because they'll run out there in support of Karl Marx, uh, Chaz Vara, Yes. Oh, Che Che's their favorite guy. Stalin, Quinn, and all of them. And they always come up about this shirt and say, well, Pinochet was a fascist dictator. So he's only a fascist dictator to them because Pinochet got rid of the communists in his country. Right, right. He threw out a, that the government had become so socialist that they needed another revolution. The same thing that our founding fathers said, that every couple generations would have to have a revolution. To, that was the only abatement for the tree of liberty and for the growth of government, that it would have to be periodically watered with the blood of patriots and tyrants. So Pinochet did that. And also uh, in Peru, President Fujimori did that. And he actually got sentenced to prison for 25 years. First, he was the first president of a nation that was convicted, arrested, brought back to his nation, and then thrown in prison because he suppressed a socialist, a Chinese backed drug dealing socialist narco terror. Rick, he suppressed that, sent in the military. I'd like to get the back of your shirt. And they they ran airborne assaults, just like happened in uh, Chile. So that's what this shirt's about. It's about really a great patriot. He was, after he took power, he had to stumble around and figure out how to run the nation, and eventually he had to call an American businessman, my cousin Paul Fisher, who came and said, you gotta get these globalist universities out. You gotta do the opposite of what the University of Chicago told you to do. It's destroying your middle class. We need to remember that the Trump revolution started in South America. The first Trumpist president of our modern age was in the nation of Paraguay, and now we're having Trumpist presidents elected. There's a really good one in Argentina that we need to support. Sebastian Piñera is president in Chile. We need to support him. The Chileans are burning down Catholic churches. They're bringing the pedophilia and all of this globalism to the forefront. We need to support them. And for any American who thinks it's strange that the people would have to revolutionarse, that they would have to revolt themselves, it's happening all over the world, and there are great heroes that that have, have gone before and have done it hey before. Guys, you, Many of them in our lifetime, show, in our short lifetime. Really what else to say about this? You know what? There's a lot of mudslinging when somebody stands up, and this is the deal with President Trump. Okay, so, he, there's um, mud being slung at him, just like was done against okay, Fujimori in Peru. So, they actually so threw him in jail. Unfortunately, just like was done against August Pinochet in Chile, there's a lot of mud slung because a lot of people died when he sent in the military and crushed those narco revolts. But it's got to happen again. It's got to happen in the U.S. We got to get the bad guys and throw them in jail. I agree. Thanks, Bill.